Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albaid Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium against Morocco. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Minier. Lukaku. Really good challenge. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Jan Vertonghen starts with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Nusair Mazraoui plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofiane Boufal in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, I think with Belgium, it's a question of whether or not they can fulfil their potential. And quite frankly, Stuart, we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now, haven't we? Yes, we have, but I think they're probably past their best. Some of their key players are now ageing, but they are a good team. They've got some excellent players. And with Canada, Croatia and Morocco in their group, I still think they'll go through. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Ziyech, can he give them the lead? And it's in! 1-0, they breach the defence! Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Lukaku. Carrasco now. Azar. Amala. And Nesiri. And it's with Amrabat. Perfect challenge. Brilliant piece of skill. Lukaku. De Bruyne. On to Meunier. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. The pass not finding its target. This attack looks highly promising. Bufal. Big chance. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Azar. Carrasco now. 
Carrasco. De Bruyne. Will it be? He's foiled them on his own. Ziyech. De Bruyne. On to Tielemans. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Goal. 2 now, and back underway. Kevin De Bruyne, physically strong and secure on the ball. And now here's Aiden Azar. On to Lukaku. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Buffal. in the center Ziyech oh that is a majestic goal volleyed home with precision and style superbly done well here's the replay and what a well delivered cross this is perfectly placed and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there the game it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge De Bruyne no danger here as he runs at them oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So there it is. 3-1, the current scoreline here. Yuri Tillemans. Sofian Amrabat. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Opportunity! And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Aidan Azar. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Will they profit from this situation? De Bruyne. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. <laughs> 
And there's the delivery. A really intense pressure applied. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. 15 minutes left for play. And he could really get at the opposition. Kevin De Bruyne. Carrasco now. Lukaku. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. <laughs> Ten minutes left for play. Underway again. We can't complain about a lack of entertainment. 3-3. Sofian Buffal still pushing for what could be a winner he's protecting it well excellent passing Ziyech can he put them in front he does and with so little time left that might be the winner wonderful drama Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Carrasco they're showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances time running out De Bruyne might really be able to trouble them here Azar fantastic work to thwart the danger and there goes the final whistle it goes into the history books as a win for them so morale is high Stuart your analysis yes Derek sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition and that was the case here they kept going and they eventually got their reward